It is our experience that we produce lots of waste and uh, especially it's not just plastic waste but when we, um, we interact with food in some ways and of course we love a lot food we have lots of waste which uh, is uh, interesting and it's uh, well of course it's biodegradable but it has also expressive and sensorial properties and designers are the best person to uh, treat this kind of materials, to interact with these materials, with tinker, to tinker with these materials. And in practice you can see that here we have, uh, in, in my office, we have a mess of all the, pro the projects and uh, we, we tried to develop in the last few years, uh, uh, starting from waste, from waste from food and from waste connected with food. You can see that we, we have, for example, mussel shells, but we have uh, also, um, also some fruit skins and so also egg shells and so on. Uh, waste is uh, a material that has a lot of possibilities and of course a lot of color, textures and so on. It's different from plastic. We started by calling these bioplastics, but in reality they are DIY materials because what we know is that we produce them ourselves, so they, uh, they are DIY, definitely. Uh, of course, uh, no, uh, things don't always w go right. In some cases you get mold because uh, uh, we, um, we are so fond of plastics because we don't get mold and plastic is eternal. But the problem with plastic being eternal is that it becomes a waste we are not able to uh, get rid of. So, uh, what we want to understand is how we can make the, the most of waste. We have too much waste and so we can produce some ob objects. Uh, for, ex for example, we, uh, the most, one of the most popular objects in design is, are lamps. And in fact, we tried to produce some lamps uh, li like this, this one which I, I am switching on, and which is produced by an old material which was called galalit, which is made of uh, milk and uh, um, vi vinegar, on this matrix based on milk and vinegar. And in fact it works quite well, uh, it doesn't get mold and it has quite a uh, large thickness, so it can be a substitute for kind of materials like uh, um, ivory or, or, or horn or so on and th that's why it was developed in, in, in uh, back in uh, the last century and so in, in what we are doing really it's uh, tinker with materials and trying to produce some uh, demonstrators some materials demonstrators which can evolve into objects <music>
try and keep the pieces as, as um, big as possible uh, with uh, compatibility, com compatibility with uh, a resin, with a matrix which we are going to develop. Then the possibilities for making this kind of matrices and put the waste into, into them are um, uh, corn starch or you, you, you can have potato starch or in other cases you can work with uh, proteins like milk whey and uh, in all cases you, we call them bioplastics and I'll show later on that uh, probably that this term is not exactly uh, right because you expect plastics in the end you, you get to this kind of materials for example this was done from, from ground coffee and is quite woody this was done with nut shells and it's woody but in a different sense and the color is uh, different. You have the um, kind of ceramics which were done with eggshells and then you, ca you can have uh, some uh, orange skins, orange peel and then it's more cellulosic and so on and so on. There is the problem of uh, introducing this material, or presenting them, of doing some kind of brochures, or some kind of adver advertisement of these materials. And our students trying uh, to work very, very hard to introduce these materials in different senses and give to them different colors, different colors, different textures. And what we found out is that, for example, children are very fond of this kind of materials and also this kind of experience, which we call material tinkering, can be of interest of uh, children in uh, infant and primary school, for example. And so we have done also some teaching uh, material and some introductory material for the use and uh, confidence with waste that we need to have. If we want to produce less waste, we have to consider that waste is no longer just rubbish, but, but it's something we can use because it can be nice and it can be put to, a, to some value. Or not only economic value but also a kind of sentimental value because uh, uh, something becomes waste becomes rubbish once we recognize it has no use so we want to demonstrate that, that all these kind of materials can be put to uh, some use in making what we call materials demonstration which could evolve into proper object and possibly it into something that can be appreciated and sold and so on. My name is Achille Ferrante and my experience uh, with bioplastic uh, involved uh, banana peels. After lunch I was eating some fruit and uh, I was thinking about this kind of waste, banana peel and banana peels is the perfect image of something thrown away and not used anymore. So uh, I tried to find a new life for it and uh, I came out with this product. This kind of material uh, is a combination of uh, some elements. This material made of banana, banana peels is uh, a combination of uh, a few elements. Before arriving at this kind of result that is acceptable, I failed a lot of times. The combination of these components is the main uh, source of starch, that is the banana peel, combined with uh, vinegar, that is a, a weak acid and uh, other elements that let him to have a longer life uh, to uh, make it more durable. For example, thyme uh, is a perfect uh, natural uh, mold inhibitor and cinnamon contrasts the smell of the vinegar. This combination gives life 
uh, a new material that can be used in uh, several ways. The um, way how to use this material is not so important because there is a transformation from waste from something new that uh, doesn't go straight to the landfill. It has a new, new life, so that's my experience. All materials came from what uh, I had close to me in the kitchen, for example. Thyme is a spice commonly used uh, with meat. Vinegar, cinnamon, for is used is commonly commonly used in cakes. about the possibility of reusing waste we need to understand that uh, waste is a kind of uh, uh, local uh, matter in the sense that uh, waste is always produced in some place for example mussel shells come from a definite place in the sea or we have uh, in Italy we have uh, the production of oil and so we have oil pomace which is a kind of woody material that we have used as well for to produce some kind of uh, wooden plate and, and so on and we have of course also other materials like uh, leather which are asking for substitute also in the view of uh, the vegan and vegetarian people which don't ask for materials which are not uh, uh, not obtained from, from animals so are basically cruelty free for example we have produced some materials from rubber latex which are quite flexible and which retain the characteristic of rubber a big problem uh, is that rubber uh, even if it is natural is a material which tends to be a quite a thermosetic material so in basically it cannot be remolded again and uh, it's uh, difficult to treat with this kind of materials because in reality they have to be disposed in dumping sites and it's difficult to reuse them. So we are trying to work with a number of materials and I think the possibilities are infinite basically. Uh, we want to make sure that the uh, waste uh, materials are to be seen into the global material and to in be inserted in what as engineers we call a matrix and then developed into an object and possibly uh, something that can be sold and uh, uh, to which more importantly we restore a bond. We restore a bond with this kind of materials and we are able to consider it no longer a waste, but something which is of use. The problem with plastics, for example, is not just plastic for durable objects, but the problem is use and throw plastics. The plastics which is made for single use. We also think that uh, these kind of materials which are obtained for way, from waste could be a good alternative for single use purposes because there are some occasions in which, for example, occasion um, uh, connected with food in which single use is required because these materials are not intended to be washed again and so on. Mm -hmm.